50 secrets you did not know about in Ratchet Bowl. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have a special video. We got world records you didn't know about. We got a lot of anti-grass touching. And the last secret in this video, I didn't even know this was possible in this game. We got a lot of secrets to get through. Let's just get started. The least amount of yards in a career was committed by this fella. All right. Why would you do this? This guy had negative 1,174 yards in a season. What was he doing? Matter of fact, he fumbled twice, which means if he was intentionally doing this, he lost the ball behind the line of scrimmage twice. He has a bum, but he has a record, all right? This is the most or least amount of yards in a career. Quickest to clinch the division was in week 10. This guy just beat Detroit 62 to zero. He's nine and zero with the Bears, which in itself is pretty impressive. But this guy clinched the division 10 weeks in, which I did not know was ever possible. That is an absolutely terrible division. Plays on medium two minute quarters. I've never seen this in my life. Fastest to 100% completion. Now we start the anti-grass touch. This is exactly what I was talking about before this video started. You know what I'm saying? This is the type of stuff that I don't even know if I should be happy about. Cause like, what are you doing completing 100% of your achievements in 10 seasons? Look at this man, 161 games. That's all it took for him to complete all the achievements. He was Minnesota. You thought that was anti-grass? Let me one up you. Most retro bowl wins. The most retro bowl wins ever by a save is three. 344. What are we doing? What's going on? Why are we doing this? Is this cool? Is this cool? This next one's a bit of a lucky one, but this guy had the most forced fumbles in a season. Postal Malone. He's got a lot of these records. He pulled up 17 forced fumbles in one year. I've never seen that in my life. That's just straight luck, but you got to play a lot of games to be able to get this luck. And this guy, he's played a lot of Retro Bowl. I'm telling the you guys. The worst division in Retro Bowl history. This one's kind of interesting because this one's calculated by least amount of total wins amongst the division. And the NFC East just had a stinker in this guy's save. This guy had 15 wins in a division division total absolutely insane 5 10 and 1 got you into the playoffs as a division leader this next one makes no sense otherworldly qb stats one completion for two touchdowns gordon insane we'll be seeing a lot of him in this video too he completed one pass this is 12 attempts i don't know what he was doing but one pass completed for 114 yards Wait, hold on. What's going on here, man? Wait, I didn't even clock that. But the, the most important part is he had two touchdowns on one completed pass. I've genuinely never seen this in my life. Now, he said tip passes don't count for completion. So, he got tipped. I don't know how he got tipped for 114 yards. That's another secret that I've just simply never seen in my life on this game. This next one is an NFL Retro Bowl 25 secret. Most interceptions in a game. Will Levis, 61. I mean, it makes sense. Will Levis is pretty ass. Like, I could see them doing this in real life. You know what I mean? Like, secret number nine. This might be one of my favorite ones, man. I, we're sprinkling in some Retro Bowl calls. Three different splash screens correspond to the time of year in your last open save five. So in week one and week 22, the beginning and the end of your college football season, you get that screen right there. Pretty cool looking screen. Weeks two to 15, midday. You know what I mean? You got homework. You know, no girl. And then week 16 to 21, they have this Christmas theme that you get to open with is your splash screen. So for example, if you close your save in like week 17, you'll get this splash screen right here with all the snow and all the lights. I think it's pretty cool, man. Maybe I should take my talents to the college game. I don't know. We'll see. New tight end longest reception record. 107 yards. I don't know how we're doing this. Yeah, one reception. That's that's what he came in for. It's Postal Malone yet again. He did this three years ago. So he's been doing this. Secret number 11, the most expensive roster you can get on retrable is 406 million dollars Gordon insane put together this team right here all five star players swipe over and see how they did on extreme oh god i'm expecting some greatness here gotta be at least 13 and 3 you know what i mean oh it's a lot of red there what's their record seven and ten you know to be fair though you were the giants it's not realistic you know what i mean the giants don't like spending their money Giant spending money. Secret number 12, all the tips in the game menu revealed. See you know that little scrolly thing where it scrolls over text? Sometimes it thanks the developers. That little text there, that usually gives you a lot of tips. Now, people usually overlook this, but not your boy. I'm an attention to detail kind of guy, you know what I mean? Matter of fact, I have this all memorized. I don't need this red. We just go take a look at it and read it together just so, you know what I mean, you guys can get a chance to visualize it, you know what I mean? Really, really study it. So experienced players are more likely to avoid tackles. I actually didn't know that. There's a long ass list here of all the ones put together. I don't know who put together this list. You guys might learn something new from these tips, man, but these are all the tips listed out in that little rolling text. Secret number 13, how conditioning works with a player's rating. Now we're looking at some statistics. See, this is the versatility of this channel, guys. We can do a little bit of math, too, while exposing some secrets. See, a lot of you guys didn't know this. You know what I mean? I knew this. I already knew this, but I knew all this beforehand. You know what I mean? Player rating has a big effect on the conditioning after the game. Borden and Sam made a 
chart for me. Thank you. Let's take a look at this chart. All right, if you're playing at a one out of 10 rating, he was ass. Indicates that he pretty much wasn't doing anything. He wasn't running, he wasn't doing nothing. He just lost 10% of conditioning just from being out there. As your players get a higher level of rating, their conditioning after the game will go down because they exerted more energy. But also the thing to note here is the 10 out of 10 rating for D Lyman, that also changes with the quarter length that you choose to play at. Three minute quarters, it's 10 tackles. Two minute quarters, seven tackles. One minute quarters, only five tackles. So there you guys go. There's a little bit of math, a little bit of chart action right there. Secret number 14, the slowest five-star receiver to ever exist on the game. I didn't even know this was possible. All right, you can have a max stat five-star player that's only non-maxed out stat is speed. This wide receiver, Tommy Filer, he has four out of 10 speed. Or an insane, he leveled him up 24 times. Jesus Christ, man. That's a lot of, that's a lot of oxygen missed out on, man. It took 1,200 cc's to level up 24 times. All right, you know what, man? We're just not gonna participate in this discussion. We're just gonna let them have this discussion. I don't belong in this conversation. Number 15, somebody has won the Retrable in one game. He went 1-0-0 with Baltimore and won a championship. How did he do this? I have no clue. Does he explain? He said he started a new save and he guessed he got lucky to a team record that wasn't trash and a division that wasn't good. But even then, you still have to play more games in the play. You still have to play like two or three games in the playoffs. So I don't know how he did this. The best year one record. This guy got a 16 and one team to start. You know what's funny is this guy, he didn't post him winning the retro. So I'm assuming he lost in the playoffs with this 16 and one team, which means we gave this to Somebody asked. We gave it to somebody who's a bum on this game, all right? Somebody who doesn't deserve it. Secret number 17. There are four different tiers of GPA on Retrable College. You don't need to do nothing at Alabama. You just need a 1.7 and you're good. Next up, middle is Philadelphia. So that's like Penn State. You need a 2.0 to get your suspension lifted. But as a freshman, you could literally get a 1.0. You'll be fine. And the highest is Cambridge. At Cambridge, you need at least a 2.7 GPA to be able to lift your suspension. But apparently, there's also a middle tier at Vanderbilt. Built. The suspension GPA is 2.3. Yeah, I'd be playing at all these colleges. You know what I'm saying? Former Harvard graduation. Nice to meet you. The most losing season in Retrable history. Presenting the most losing season in Retrable history. This guy got outscored 8,029 points. He lost the game by 564. That's got, that, like, what? That's got to be a record in itself, man. How do you do this? This is year two. Poop McButt. All right. Most interceptions in a season with 1,147. Most interceptions in a game with 80. This was absolutely nuts. And he restarted his game 10 times. I know there's one of you guys out there that can do this in one rip, all right? I know there's one guy out there that's probably working on this record right now, man. Secret number 19, fumble, incomplete, out of bounds on the same play. I've never seen this before, man. Let's take a look. All right, he's got the ball. Fumble. What? Fumble, incomplete, out of bounds, 12-yard gain. Wait, so what did it end up being? A 12-yard game. Okay. This is why I made this video. For this reason right here. I wanted to see stuff like this. The most picks thrown in one game. This guy threw 39 picks. Look, this was four years ago, though. Hold on. This has got to be out there. No, 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 no. The loser guy threw 80. That's right. Yeah. What, what are we talking about? Oh, this guy broke this record, too. He got two records in one. Secret number 21. Ladies and gentlemen, this one's a sad one. I regret to inform you guys that we have lost Half Moon Guy. <laughs> The OG guy with half of his ass out who stood on the sidelines of every game. And then they turned him into a guy with like a mic on Retrable College. And then NFL Retrable 25, they niced him up. They gave him some makeup. They added some colors. Actually, did they add anything? I don't know. He kind of looks the same. But what is this, bro? He looks like he's mooning the camera. That, that's what it has to be. I need an explanation from one of these Retrable devs. Oh, what he's doing right here, man. But he's gone. They removed him. The highest XP level for a single player. This guy had a kicker at level 37. Do you know how many field goals that is? That's how else can a kicker gain XP? I'm pretty sure if a kicker doesn't do anything in a game, he doesn't gain XP. So you had to kick at least like six field goals a game for like 35 seasons. Why are we doing stuff like this? This one, this one pissed me off. Next secret, we have the fewest amount of seasons to win a Retrable with every single team. This guy won the Retrable with all 32 teams in 32 exact seasons. This is kind of tough. I kind of respect this one. I know this is a lot of anti-grass, but honestly, I respect this one. Every team in the league wanted this man. He won it all 32 years in a row with 32 different rosters. You know what? That's pretty impressive stuff. Number 24. Let me hop on the game real quick to show y'all something cool. 
know these next two if you play a lot of Ratchet Bolt, but you can actually change your drive direction. You can go the other way, all right? It, it, I don't recommend it. It just feels weird. You gotta play with your left hand. You gotta throw with your left. Actually, if you, any of you guys are left hand, let me know in the comments down below. Y'all play with your drive direction to the right? If you do, you're kind of a freak. I'm not gonna lie. But the next secret, number 25, is that you can also change your kickoff rules to 24 so that you get the ones that they use this season where they, you know, just stand around like 10 yards away from each other. I lose respect for you if you don't use the 23 rules. I feel like that's the best one where they're running full speed at each other trying to take each other's head off. You know what I mean? That's the best kickoff. Bill Belichick will stay with the Patriots for two more years on a new save. This is apparently possible. I've never seen this in my life. But if the Patriots win the first two years of your retro bowl save, they will credit Bill Belichick with two more retro bowls. All right? In this save right here, Bill Belichick has eight Retro Bowls. He won the Retro Bowl in year one, year two. All right, he's a Retro Bowler. Most rushing yards in a game by a running back. We got Jacoby Gage. This brother put up 683 yards on 34 attempts. That's actually impressive stuff. This is not actually loser behavior. I honestly think this is pretty impressive. You're averaging 20 yards a rush. You know what I mean? He had a 97 yard run, eight touchdowns. You know, I respect this. But I'm still giving the Heisman to Travis Hunter. Most rushing yards for a quarterback in a career record. Bo Jackson, the quarterback. He has 11,337 rushing yards in 194 games. Why are you running with your quarterback that much? Why are you doing that? Why? What's what's the point? What what Secret 29, wide receivers run at different speeds on a kick return versus a reception. I'm a guy bored and insane. He's back at it. All right, it starts at the blue line. Here we go. So at the top, we have a wide receiver kick return. At the bottom, we have a reception. He's absolutely gassing him. My goodness, this isn't even close. Why do they do that? It's the same player, Randall Brooks, max speed, max stamina. I guess they slow down on kick returns. I don't know. Most consecutive perfect season. This is another one of those ones where I, I don't know if I'm happy about this. This guy completed 45 consecutive perfect seasons on Retro Bowl. 705 and up. Why is he doing this, man? I'm on year 55 on my third save. 855 0 oh and 0. Oh. oh my god, somebody topped him. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know how to feel. I beat your record 99 consecutive perfect seasons. Regular season record. 1,701. Number 31. We got a record from Hostel Beast. My guy put together 2,000 field goals made in 2,000 attempts. This is the most attempts somebody has done with a kicker at a perfect 100% percentage. Hostel Beast, why were you doing this? HB, if you're watching this, I need an explanation in the comments down below. You gotta explain this. What the hell were you doing with your life, man? I don't even know if this is the record. I just saw it was Hostel Beast. I wanted to call him out on it. It's a secret in my book. Hostel Beast, what were you doing here? Number 32. You can now change languages on Retro Bowl. So if you hop on the game here, we go to the wrench tool, go to settings, and then on the top left, we got this globe icon where you can pick between six different languages. Now, I'm a bit disappointed. I don't have Chinese. I'd love to see a Chinese version. You know what I mean? So my boys in China can hop on. You feel me? I might start doing some of these videos in Chinese. But you can do Portuguese, you know what I'm saying? Cristiano Ronaldo. You do Deutsch, you know what I mean? Schweinsteiger. You got Espanol, como estas? Italiano, you know? Uh, ciao. And then you got Francais, you know what I mean? Bonjour. There you go, man. You got different languages right there, but you know, I play on English. We need Mandarin, though. Next secret, 20 one games in a season. Somebody had a save where their opponents just cheated. This guy went 16-0 with Miami. All right, respectable. New England right behind him. 16-4-1. and 12, 8, and 1 by Buffalo. That's just stuff you see every day. Denver with 14 and 7. Kansas City put up 15 and 6. Some teams on his safe, for whatever reason, put up 21 games. All right, Cleveland with the 5, 15, and 1. You'd love to see it, man. This is so random. Only like two or three teams win 16 games. Everyone else was on a 21 game schedule. I don't know how this was done. Number 34, the longest rushing touchdown by a wide receiver. This makes no sense to me. This happened four years ago. This guy got an 81 yard longest rushing touchdown by his wide receiver. Isaac Bruce in year 24. Okay, wait. But it's a longest rushing touchdown. How do you run the ball with the wide receiver? It's not possible. This guy did it, man. 81 yard rushing touchdown. I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments down below if you got this one figured out. Most blocks in a career by an old lineman. 22,541. Like, how are you doing that? How? What? Like, why? The fewest sacks taken per passing attempt. This guy right here took zero sacks in 662 passing attempts. He was getting the ball up. You know what I mean? He was just being efficient. 99% completion rate. This guy's a dog. How to get a 10 speed max 
speed quarterback on Retrobol. Now there's a whole guide here, which you guys can pause the video. You guys can check it out. It's pretty easy. I'm just gonna explain it to you guys. All you need to do is get a quarterback with low potential. You need him right off the bat to have seven out of 10 speed. All right, that's the minimum. Once he has seven out of 10 speed, you're gonna draft him and you're gonna hire a bunch of talent spotter head coaches. Once you hire them, their speed potential may increase. All right, it's luck. But if it does, that means you have found the right one. All right, and you keep increasing his speed potential by rehiring talent spotter offensive coordinators. That's how you get a 10 out of 10 speed quarterback. But you gotta make sure his potential is low because if his potential max is out at five star, his speed won't upgrade anymore. You know, what that was right there is I was just simply teaching you guys about the game. You know what I mean? That's like passing on knowledge as an OG of the community. This guy had the goat kicker. All right, hostile beast, I take it back. You weren't the man, all right? I simply called you out for nothing. This guy completed 6,900 field goals. Why, 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 why? Why are you doing this to yourself? 353,000 yards. Dude, this guy played 500 games for it, man. Oh my god, no, this pissed me off. No, 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 we need to move on to this. I get this off my screen. Get off my screen. Secret number 39 most receiving yards by a tight end in their career. This guy put up 50k yards. <laughs> 50k yards in a career as a tight end. Please get this off my screen. Please. I, I'm, about to, I'm about to explode. Please. Next secret. Please. All right, here we go. This is a better one. Strongest division by wins. This guy got lucky. All right. He won the division with Miami 16 0. This is the best division ever in football. Year 87. It's okay, ignore that. All right, 16 wins for his team. 12 win Buffalo, number two. 11 win New England, number three. And 10 win New York, number four. The most kick return touchdowns in a game. Born insane. He won a game only scoring kick return touchdowns. He had seven of them. Russ scored seven for 800 yards. How many attempts did they take? Scored seven out of 12 kick returns. Jesus Christ, man. This guy's good. That's nuts, man. Seven out of 12. What is that? 56%? <laughs> Let's pull up the calculator to make sure. Seven divided by 12. 56%. Oh, it's 58 Ugh. Most career combined interceptions, sacks, forced fumbles. Pretty much the greatest defense player ever graced Retro Bowl is right here by Chunky Milk 22. This guy had 69 picks, 57 sacks, 28 forced fumbles. What an absolute beast. Five time defensive player of the year right here in 275 games. That's gotta be the most combined. I'm curious to see what the most combined is for a single season. That is interesting. Cause I've seen some ridiculous interception numbers, but not from any linebackers. So I don't know. Number 43, this secret is related to NFL Retro Bowl 25. The reason why NFL Retro Bowl 25 is a 10-man roster only game and not a 12-man roster is because Simon, the original developer of Retro Bowl, his favorite roster size was 10 man. So they kind of did it in honor of Simon, which I think is pretty cool, man. Shout out to my boy Simon. Secret number 44. We're almost at the end. We're almost at secret number 50. The fastest player on Retro Bowl possible is a defensive back. All right, defensive backs at pure max speed are faster than any other player on max speed. If you look at a DB on extreme they're just the fastest all right they can run almost five yards a second look at this look at that look at that that's nuts man but the fastest player that you can control is a wide receiver on 10 speed all right the least yards in a game this is another loser one 38 attempts minus 127 yards He's played one game in his career which was the retrable finals and he won retrable mvp with negative 127 yards how did that happen if you win the retrable with just one star player that player will win the retrable mvp no matter what i didn't know that okay i guess he was testing that theory why would you be testing that theory in your free time i don't know but at least now we know you know what i'm saying now we know in the secret. Shout out to Borden Insane. He covers like half of this video. Number 46, the most depressed team on Retro Bowl. 2% morale is the saddest that your team can get, all right? The team around here, it's at an all-time low. It's at the lowest it can get. I don't think you can get anything lower than 2% because if you cut these low morale players, it actually increases your team's morale. So the only way you can do this is by getting as many toxic players on your team as possible. And I think 2% is the lowest you can get. I've never seen it at 1%. I've never seen it at zero. You can throw the ball backwards on mobile. This guy threw the ball backwards on Retro College. Look, he's on the 21 and the ball is clearly going towards the 23. This wasn't only done once. This was actually done a second time. He stole the ball right off the line of scrimmage, I guess, under center. But yeah, it goes backwards. I wonder what happens if they drop the ball. Is that a fumble? Secret number 48, the composition of O-lineman. The first O-lineman that you sign is your right guard. The second O-lineman is a left guard. The third one's a center. Alright, so they start in the interior. The fourth and fifth O-lineman is the right tackle and left tackle, which I 
guess makes the most sense because I guess that gives you more of an incentive to get old linemen because right tackle, left tackle are the most important positions. But I, I'm still not using old linemen in my saves. I have to go All right, the second last one, secret number 49, a new scoring record on dynamic. Gordon Insane put up 166 points on Dallas. I don't know why, but I feel like I could beat them. I don't know why, though. I have absolutely no evidence at all that I can do it, but I feel like I can. Final secret. Secret number 50. All right. Look at the start. That's how we're starting off number 50. Why the hell is the line of scrimmage in the end zone? But that's not the craziest part of this secret. That's not even the start of it. All right, let's play the clip. Look at this. With the quarterback, he runs up the middle. You guessed it. This man broke the record for the longest rushing yard play with a quarterback. Try this now. This is absolutely nuts, man. He's going to go all the way here on the five-yard line. He almost gets caught. Imagine he gets caught. Yeah, he, he, he juked. He got, he got a little scared. 102 yards rushing by a quarterback right there. That is the longest rushing yard play with a quarterback. I hope you guys learned something new. I hope you guys saw something you've never seen before. I saw 50 things I've never seen before in my life. So I felt like I had to make this video, man. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below which secret was the craziest in your opinion. Your boy's cold. Your boy's eyes hurt. Your boy's out.